Hello everyone, my name is Hoyte and today I will guide you through a slow flow vinyasa practice. Uh, we will do, uh, in the first part of the practice, uh, we're going to do some standing poses and some sun salutations to stretch, to strengthen and to open the body. And uh, in the second part of the practice we will use that opening to go a little deeper into some seated postures and um, yeah, go a little deeper in our bodies and maybe also into ourselves. Um, now some of you have done yoga a thousand times and others are here for the first time. And that's great because as a Zen master Suzuki said, in the beginner's mind there are many possibilities and in the expert's minds there are few. So let's all aspire today to be like a beginner and uh, enjoy our practice. Now, um, Marika is going to help me today um, do the postures and um, our first posture we're going to go into is uh, Supta Bada Konasana, which means we're going to bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall out sideways, let the upper body just rest into the floor and you could choose to have your hands onto your belly and your chest or take the arms wide open and the palms towards the sky. And it's a nice posture also to relax the shoulders and to feel a little bit of stretch in the upper body. Now soften the face and uh, begin to arrive into the room, arrive into your body. And just feel familiar with your breath. A little story. A Zen master receives a student. The master serves tea for the student. But when the student's cup is full, the master keeps pouring the tea in the cup. And the tea kind of spills over the table and onto the floor. The student, seeing the tea spilling over the edge of the cup, noticed Hey, master, my cup is full. You have to stop pouring the tea. And, you know, the master keeps pouring the tea and it still spills over. And the student says again, master, my cup is full. Indeed, said the master, like this cup, you are full of opinions. And you have to empty your cup first to open your mind. Now, one of the big illusions of the mind is that we think we know all. But really, the more we learn, the more we know is that we don't know. So sometimes we have to let go on being experts and taking one step at the time without worrying about the outcome. Slowly bring the knees together, Marikan, and then into the chest. You could hold the knee with both hands and pull them a little bit towards you. Make a little bit of a roll onto the lower back if that feels good. And then begin to stretch the legs all the way up into the air. Flex the feet towards the face. Maybe take the feet a little bit apart and then take the arms up as well alongside of the legs and roll the shoulders down the back. Begin to rotate ankles and wrists. Just inviting some energy into the edges of your body, into the fingertips and the toes. And then bend your knees. Take the hands to the back of the thighs and in a couple of rolls, begin to roll yourself up into a seated posture. And slowly sitting up tall, hands resting on the knees or into your lap, into a little bowl. Just reminding yourself of that empty cup. And today, let's practice like this, like beginners, like doing yoga for the first time. Open to what you feel and not so much what you think. As yoga is a feeling practice. Letting go of your presets, your expectations, your judgment towards the poses, towards the teacher, and especially towards yourself open to experience, to learn and to be amazed. Let's all empty our cups. Slowly on the next inhale, bring the hands to the ears, a little bit away from the ears. 
As you exhale, just feel the mental waves into your hands. Inhaling, bring those mental waves together in front of the third eye. Hands in prayer. Exhale, slowly lower the prayer down towards the heart. Inhale again, hands to the ears, a little bit away from the ears, cupping the hands. Exhale, just breathing out, feel the mental waves. Inhale, bring those mental waves together in front of third eye. And then slowly lower the prayer down towards the heart center. Just do one more round like this. Inhaling, hands to the ears. And exhale, feel the thought waves into your hands. Inhale, gather those thought waves in front of the third eye. And then as you exhale, lower and filter those thought waves to the heart. Now keep the prayer here for a moment. Feel your breath, deeply inhaling, slowly exhaling, releasing. To open the class, to connect us to ourselves, to our own bodies, and to the energy around us, let's do one time the sound of OM. Exhaling all the air, empty out the lungs. Take a deep breath in. And then bow your head down towards the heart. Open the eyes. Lift the head up. And then slowly release the hands down to the floor. Walk your hands forward, roll over the knees, come to all fours. And then take a little bit of time to find your way into your body. Like a beginner, really feeling what is happening. Can you feel into your body what your body needs today? Now beginning to move maybe your hips, maybe your shoulders, and then ask your body what direction it wants to go. You could do some cat-cow stretches here, or you could just turn the hips. You could even place the hips towards the heels. Maybe roll the chest forward in between the hands, coming into a cobra shape. Whatever your body feels like doing. And then while you're moving like this, turn on your breath. If you're familiar with ujjayi breath, that sounding breath in the back of the throat, just turn that on. And otherwise, a deep, full breath from the belly. Keep that going throughout your practice. Slowly find your way back to center into all fours. Tuck your toes under and then lift your hips. Send them to the back of the room. Come to downward facing dog. Slowly come forward into a plank pose. Shoulders over the hands. Step your feet a little bit back. Engage the core. Maybe lower the hips a little more. Yes. And exhale. Bend the knees again. And send your hips back. Downward facing dog. Stretch from the arms and lift the hips up. Now with flow. Where you can inhale forward into plank pose. And then take the whole exhale to lift your hips all the way back up to the sky. And lengthen the upper body. And again, slowly forward, sliding into plank pose. And exhale, pressing back into a downward facing dog. And then last round, coming forward into plank pose. And this time we're going to bring the knees and the chest down to the floor. Now keep your butt up into the air, elbows in, point the toes back, and just slowly lift the torso off the floor for a baby cobra. Inhale. Exhale, now press back to child's pose. Lift your hips down towards your heels. Release here for a moment and notice that you're always welcome to come back here to take some space, to take some breaths, to rest if you need it, anywhere in the practice. Take it forward to all fours again. Tuck your toes, stretch back to downward facing dog. And then Pedal your feet down one by one, stretching one leg and then the other. Move your hips from side to side. And then begin to take a walk forward towards the front of your mat. And fold forward, release the head down. Inhaling, bend the knees. Take a big circle with the arms, reach all the way up. 
Exhaling prayer down towards the heart, close the eyes and then stay for a breath. Take a moment to feel your breath, inhaling along the length of the spine all the way up. Exhale, release the breath down all the way down into the earth. Slowly, on the next inhale, raise the prayer up and overhead. As you exhale, fold forward and touch the floor. Slowly, when you inhale, reach the crown forward, lengthen the spine. And exhale, stepping both legs back into a plank pose. And then lower down through the knees or chaturanga. Choose wisely as you keep the elbows in. Roll the chest forward and open up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, stretching back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly take the right leg up and back behind you into the air. Now slowly step right foot forward in between the hands and drop your left knee down to the floor. Keep the fingertips onto the floor. Roll the chest open, shoulders back, lower your hips. Inhale. Exhale, coming back into a downward facing dog. Step right foot back and lengthen the spine. Hips go back. Inhale, forward plank pose, straight line, crown the heels. Exhale, low push up through chaturanga or knees, chest. Now roll forward, lift the heart up, shoulders down the back. Exhale, slide the hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg, breathe it up behind you into the air. Slowly, can you step right foot forward in between the hands to a low lunge pose? Press your feet down, circle the arms and the chest up, crescent lunge. Exhaling, prayer to the heart, hands go back to the floor. Inhale, left foot stepping forward, lift the heart flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to a full stretch. Exhaling, prayer back towards the heart, other side. Raise the prayer up and overhead. Exhale, dive down, touch the floor. Inhale, lift and lengthen, come to a flat back. Now step or jump into a low push-up, coming down through the knees or chaturanga. Lift heart up, shoulders open, down the back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips to the back of the room. Inhale, take the left leg up behind you. Exhale, slow stepping forward, left foot to a fingertip lunge. Press your feet, circle the arms and the chest, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands go down, same pathway to the floor. Step right foot forward, lift the heart flat back, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Inhale, rise all the way up, full stretch. Exhaling, prayer comes down towards the heart center. Stay for a moment, just breathe here. Can you be here? Can you be awake and aware to the sensations in your body? And like a beginner, can you be open to life as it unfolds? Can you be open towards your practice? Release the hands next to your hips. Press your feet down in the floor and then circle the arms. Inhale, step your feet together, big toes together, heels straight back. Exhale, fingertips to the ankles as you bend the knees. Bend the knees, yes. Inhale, chest up, arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Roll the shoulders down the back, sit a little lower, weight into your heels. Inhale, press the feet. Now straighten up all the way back with the arms. Open the chest and exhale, folding forward, touch the floor. Inhaling, lift the heart to a flat back. Exhale, stepping or jumping back into a low push-up. Elbows in, lifting up to up dog or baby cobra. Tuck your toes, send your hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg, breathe it up behind you. Now keep listening. Exhale, bend the right knee, open the hip to the right side of the room. Now we want to keep the shoulders facing forward and we want to stack the hips on top of each other, maybe lift the knee up a little higher. Can you straighten that right leg back behind you, flex the toes down again, the hips are now even to the floor, and then step it forward in between the hands, low lunge pose. Stay low here onto the fingertips. Now lower your hips a little deeper down. Take the left hand down and the right arm up as you twist open towards the right side of the room. Keep breathing here, shoulders stacked on top of each other. Inhale. Exhale. 
slowly from here, right hand onto the right knee, fingers inward, elbow out. And then begin to lift up, left arm alongside of the ear, in line with your back leg for arrow pose. Now keep the neck long in line with the spine. Stay for a full breath. Press the back heel away from you as you stretch your back leg. Inhale. Exhale. Now slowly lift up as you circle the left arm back. Drop your back heel and then straighten the front leg. Hips open to the left side now. Arms parallel. Inhale, reach forward, right arm and torso. Exhale, right hand down, take the left arm up for Trikonasana. Now in Trikonasana, we want to try to keep the hips and the shoulders into one plane. And some of you might want to lift up a little higher to create some extra space. And then check your breath. If your breath is uneven or unsteady, lift up a little more and give yourself some more space to breathe. One more breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, slowly lift up. Keep the arms parallel. Turn the palms down and bend your front knee. Warrior two pose. Inhale, straight on to reverse warrior. Right arm overhead. Stretch over right side of your body. As you exhale, sink a little deeper into the front knee. Look up at your right palm. And then circle both hands to the floor, lift the back heel up. Inhale, stretch the right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, bend the right knee, open the hip again one more time. Look at your right foot under your left armpit. And then slowly, can you drop your right foot just behind the left leg, flip your dog and reach the right arm overhead. Press down with the outer left foot. Stay for a full breath in the pose we call wild thing. And then turn back, right arm back to the floor, come to plank and go down through your push-up. Inhale, roll the chest open, lift the heart. Exhaling back to downward facing dog. Other side, left leg, breathe it up behind you. Bend the left knee, open the hip, stack the hips on top of each other. Maybe lift the knee up a little higher. And now straighten the leg back, even the hips, flex the toes down, step left foot forward in between the hands to a low lunge. Press the left hand onto the left knee, fingers inward. Use your core as you straighten the right arm alongside of the ear, parallel with your back leg. Inhale, shoulders down the back, use your core, exhale, press the right heel away from you. One more breath, inhale. Slowly now, circle right arm behind you, drop your back heel, straighten the front leg, hips open to the right. Side tail the pelvis, reach forward, left hand down, take the right arm up for trikonasan. Inhaling, three breaths here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, keep the back of the neck long, don't throw your head back. And then slowly lift back up into standing. Keep the arms, palms down. Bend the knee to a warrior two pose. Keep it straight forward. Inhale straight to reverse warrior. Left arm overhead. Stretch over left side of your body. And exhale. Circle both hands to the floor. Either side of left foot. Turn back heel up. Straighten the left leg behind you. Inhale. One more round. Bend the left knee. Open the hip towards the left side of the room. This time, step your left foot just behind the right. Flip your dog, reach the left arm overhead, and take some leverage to the outer right foot. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, come back with your left arm, come to plank. Lower down through the push-up. Lift the heart up, shoulders down the back, and then send your hips back, downward facing dog. And that's all we deserve. Well deserved rest, come into child's pose. Bring the knees a little wider than the hips and the hips to the heels and drop down onto your forehead. Optional, take the arms back and release. <clears throat> and then regain your breath here. Take a moment to Feel that little sequence in your body. Take a moment to 
observe the heat in the body. As we all know, heat is the chemical agent of transformation. So this way we transform our body, we get rid of waste. The beginner's mind. The innocence of the first inquiry, what am I, is needed throughout Zen practice. The mind of the beginner is empty, free of habits of the expert, ready to accept, to doubt, and to open to all possibilities. It is the kind of mind which can see things as they are, which step by step and in a flesh can realize the original nature of everything. So can you be here? Can you keep an open mind towards your practice, towards life? Slowly come to sit up again. Take the knees a little closer together and remind yourself with that empty cup into your lab. Bring your hands together into a cup. Open the eyes again, slide forward with the hands, come to all fours. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips all the way to the back of the room, downward facing dog. And you can press one heel down and then the other. Take a little movement in your dog to increase the energy flow in your body. To go into those tight places. Bring some breath there. Bring some opening there. And then when you're ready, stretch the right leg up and back behind you. Slowly bring the knee to the nose and the shoulders over the hands as you coil in. One more round. Take the right leg up and back into the air. And this time, bring the right knee to the outside of the right hand, the right foot close to the left hand, flex the right foot, and then drop your left knee down. Walk the fingertips towards the hips as you lift up through the spine, keep shoulders down the back. Now look over your right shoulder towards your left foot. Keep the length as you do this. Inhale. And then when you exhale, turn forward, come down onto your elbows or all the way down onto your chest and just release the forehead towards the floor. Keep that right foot flexed to protect your knee. If there's any pain in the right knee, then move your knee a little more, move your foot a little bit more to center. If you want more challenge, you could take the right foot a little further forward. Staying for three more full breaths in this reclined pigeon pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, release the chest a little more, keep the neck relaxed, exhale, slowly moving into a little bit more softness here. Now, when you're ready with your third out breath, just begin to walk the hands towards the hips as you lift up. And then drop down onto the right hip, swinging the left leg forward in front of you. And then place your right foot over your left knee. Just top down the foot, take kind of on the outside of the knee. Inhale, take the left arm up, find length in the spine. Exhale, rotate the upper body to the right side and take the elbow over the knee. Or you could hug the knee, keeping the length. It's a Again, a seated spinal twist, so we're going to lift up towards the crown of the head. And maybe if there's a little more space while you're in there, you could bring the right shoulder back a little more. Two more breaths here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now you could just release the elbow. Come forward with your torso, use the left hand to pick up the right foot and bring the right foot next to your left hip. So the knees are kind of aligned over each other. And for some people the knee will be somewhere here and other people have the knees straight on top of each other. 
Bring your fingertips behind you and then lift up. Find length into the upper body. Stay here if this is enough for you today. Or, like Marie can she can fold forward a little deeper and even take the arms forward. Rest the head onto the right knee and release. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to stay a little longer here to infuse some yin energy in our practice. Like I said, using the opening of we created in the first part of our practice to deepen a little more in the second part. And all over that, um, just think, feel, actually don't think, but feel that you could feel sensations, breath, emotions and stuff happening without any judgment, like if you feel them for the first time. It's a great way to approach a practice. Maybe even deepen your breath a little more while you're finding more depth into the pose. And maybe, Marie, can you could let go of any like pushing or pulling you do with the arms and then let the yin energy do the work here. Let the gravity and the alignment of the pose do the work for you. Are you ready to lift up? Slowly come back up. And then from here we're going to counter twist to the other side. Turn to the left side now. Bring right hand to left knee. And we're going to stay here just one full breath as a transition to the next pose. We're going to press the left fingertips into the floor. We're going to pick up the right foot and we bring it again next to the left knee. And then we're going to lift our hips and reach the right arm overhead in the pose we call supported side plank or Vashistasana on the outside of the left foot. Flex your foot. Yes, there you go. If you'd like, you can roll the chest open a little more. Stay for one more deep and full breath here. Maybe release your head back a little more. And then with a controlled movement, bring yourself back down onto your hips. Perfect. Pick up the knees, come back into that cosmic ball. Knees into the chest, lifting the feet up, find balance onto your sit bones. Stay here for a breath. Now, from here, you could keep the knees into your hands if that feels better for your lower back. Lift the chest up. Option two would be take the arms wide open. Option three would be to straighten the legs and point the toes. And then stay here for another three breaths. And if you want more, you could lower the legs and lower the torso a little deeper down to the floor. And I'm teasing Marika in a little bit because it's super hot here in the room. Now keep your neck as well in line with the spine. Maybe get a little lower if that's possible. Yeah, you could take a shower later. Take one more deep and full breath. And then, yes, come up to seat. Cross the legs. Lift the arms overhead. Reach. Take the arms forward in front of the knees. Roll over the knees. Stepping, jumping, or floating back into a plank. Come into your vinyasa. Roll the chest forward and open. Lift the heart. And tuck your toes under, stretch back down dog. Ready for the other side. Left leg, breathe it up. Exhaling, knee to nose, shoulders over the hands, coil in, round the back. Inhale, left leg, breathe it up one more time. And this time, left knee to the outside of left hand, left foot close to right hand and slide the right leg back. Inhaling. As you exhale, look over your left shoulder towards your right foot. Keep that lift into the upper body. And then from here, turn back onto your elbows, coming down, reclining onto the elbows, and maybe all the way onto your chest. Release your head onto the forehead and take a moment of well-deserved rest. If there's any pain in your left knee, Please bring your foot more to center. If you want more challenge, your left foot can come a little further forward. Always take care of yourself. So if there's any sharp pain in any pose, come out of it or at least uh, come back a little bit. And um, 
make sure you take care of yourself. We don't want any injuries. So Marie can, can maybe release a little more using the out breath to sink a little lower, allowing a sense of melting, a sense of dissolving into the body, especially now the upper body, because the left foot is still flexed. One more last breath here. Lifting up, coming back onto your hands, lengthening through the upper body, inhaling, and then slowly lower left hip down, pick up the right leg, straighten it forward, and then pick up your left foot and take it over the right leg, just on the outside of the knee. Now you first use your fingertips behind you, find some length in the upper body, then take the right arm up alongside of the ear, Rotate the upper body towards the left and then hug your knee. Yeah, you could show that first and take the elbow over the knee. That's it. And then the left shoulder wants to move back. Staying for three breaths here in this seated spinal twist. Inhale for length and then keep your shoulders relaxed as you may be coming in a little deeper. And maybe you just stay where you are and in some cases maybe you come back a little bit if that feels better for your body and then check your breath it, this is always a good way to feel if you're into balance never compromise the breath for depth in any yoga pose one more deep and full breath here and then slowly come back to center with your right hand, pick up the left foot, bring it over next to your left hip, so the knees are kind of aligned over each other, both, finger both hands behind you onto the fingertips as you lift, roll shoulders down the back, and then maybe take a forward fold, or just stay up if that is enough for you. A lot of stretch already on the back of the right leg. Keep the neck and the head super relaxed, so this is typically one of those poses where we don't use any neck muscles. We keep the shoulders relaxed as possible. And again, we allow some yin energy, letting the weight of the body and gravity do the work for us. And this is already a lot of stretch for a lot of people onto the right leg and into the hips. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few. So can you feel as if you were doing this pose for the first time? Really being aware of sensations of breath, of stuff coming up. And then come to sit up, take your upper body straight up again. And we're going to twist over to the left side now this time. Is it to the left? No, to the right side. Inhale again, finding length. Roll the right shoulder back. Stay for one breath as a transition in this pose. Press the right fingertips in the floor. The outer left, uh, right foot into the floor and then take the left foot forward, lifting up, reaching the left arm overhead. Supported side plank pose again. If you want, you could roll that left shoulder back, breathe into the back of your lungs here. Use your core muscles to keep the hips in place, to stabilize the outer right foot as leverage to press your pelvis up. And when you're ready, slowly lower back down to the floor. Take the left foot next to the right foot or the left leg next to the right, straight forward. Keep the arms overhead, lift the arms overhead, I should say. Lengthen through the spine with length in the upper body, fold forward for a moment. Take a yin forward fold, so no pressure here, no pushing or pulling, just release. Only one breath here, inhale. 
exhale lifting back up sliding the hands forward lengthen the spine break the hands next to your hips onto the floor and then slide your hips forward so the knees become bent and then arms parallel to the floor chin towards the chest and take a couple of breaths to roll yourself all the way down onto your back if you're touching down with the shoulders gently lay your head onto the floor walk the feet a little closer to your hips about hip width apart press them into the floor roll the shoulders down and begin to lift your hips all the way up maybe first to an, like a straight spine not so much deeper if you feel there's any more space you could take it into a back bend and arch the back a little more roll the shoulders more and interlace the fingers behind the back press the lower arms into the floor press the hands into the floor and just breathe here let's say four deep and full breaths Release the hands after your fourth out breath. And with control, gently lower your back of the body towards the floor. At last, the hips move down, tailbone comes down. And then you can take your knees towards your chest, hug your knees in for a moment. Pull the knees slightly towards your chest. And then very slowly drop the knees over towards the left side. Shift your hips towards the right. And then take the right arm out sideways, kind of rolling the right shoulder down. The left hand can be towards the knee, on top of the knee, or otherwise straight out. And just use that pose to really let go of anything that is still looks like tension or tightness anything you're still holding on to try to let that go really feel deep into your body let every out breath release it down a little more now of course you could take when you're doing this practice at home you could take this pose as long as you want but for now we're gonna lift our knees up rolling back onto the sacrum shifting the hips to center again again take your knees into the chest and then take the knees over to the right side as you shift your hips to the left left arm reaches out roll the left shoulder down maybe the right hand holds the knees in place and on this side Besides letting go of every part of your body, also let go of your breath. Really feel your breath flowing freely in and out of your body, letting go of any scent breath, any guided breath. And just feel the natural breath flowing in and out. When you feel a certain calm, rest, relaxation in your body and your breath, bring the knees back to center. And with as little effort as possible, set yourself up for Shavasana. Sliding the feet forward, taking the feet open, let the feet flop open. The legs relax, the hips heavily down into the floor. And let your belly come to a complete rest in fact we're holding a lot of tension in the belly so maybe receive the next couple of breaths in a relaxing belly feel the shoulders released as well the neck the jaw the lips the tongue resting the eyelids softly touch the brow area soft and relaxed forehead 
release. And your breath easily flowing in and out of your body, just as if something outside of us were breathing us. Something bigger than ourselves, something bigger than our bodies. The answers you seek never come when the mind is busy. They come when the mind is still and clear, open, like a beginner's mind. Slowly begin to come back to the space around you, beginning to come aware, become aware of your body, moving your fingertips, kind of wiggle your toes, feeling sensations flowing back in your body, deepen your breath. When you're ready, you could stretch the arms overhead, reach out as if you were just waking up for a new day. Take a deep breath in and out of your mouth to feel the space you've created in your little practice today. And then begin to pull the knees into the chest and take a moment to explore the space in your mind that is there. Maybe a little bit more peace, a little bit more stillness, a little closer towards that beginner's mind. Roll the knees over to the right side. And gently use your left hand with your eyes still closed to lift up in an upright seat. Cross the legs. And then bring the hands towards the heart. May our lives be full of curiosity, wonder, and amazement. May our practice give us clarity of mind, clarity in our speech, and openness in our hearts. Bowing your head towards the heart. Open the eyes. Lift the head up. Namaste.